For the first time since 2019, a group of cadets have arrived at Fort Knox, Kentucky for cadet summer training. Because the program was canceled last year, this group does not have the usual benefit of being trained by the previous class of cadets. We're coming in kind of with just open minds and kind of going with the, however they're pushing us. And um, I don't know, I'm definitely a little nervous, but I'm excited for a lot of the opportunities available and I'm excited to learn a lot throughout this experience. Even though Richard Camp was unable to attend basic camp last year, the lateral entry program at Ohio State University prepared him for advanced camp. It was a steep learning curve, but uh, we went through a lot of the operational order, we went through a lot of field training, uh, and uh, they really pushed me to uh, excel in kind of that learning phase earlier on. And of course, I'm not going to know everything here, but I feel fairly equipped uh, going into uh, a lot of this stuff. The advanced camp has many exercises in store for these cadets. However, the most important exercise will be learning to work with a new squad in a new environment. The thing that I'm most nervous about is kind of like the social aspect and building those relationships within your platoon because that's really vital to the, the lanes and like having effective teamwork and everything. But um, I think my battalion did a really good job of preparing all of us to come this summer. So. I'm not so much nervous about passing, just want to have a good time and get to know everyone that I'm with. The cadets will be going through a 10-day controlled monitoring period and will be COVID tested before the first exercise can officially begin. Reporting for the CST Public Affairs Office, I am Drew Brumfield.